Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Studio Series 81 Bumblebee Movie Wheeljack. Now I just got Wheeljack in today thanks to Entertainment Earth along with the rest of the Studio Series Bumblebee line, and I cannot wait to check this guy out. He looks so cool. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you got Transformers Studio Series 81, Bumblebee movie, Wheeljack there behind the plastic, some great artwork of Wheeljack right there, side of the box, a close-up of Wheeljack's face, Studio Series 81, back of the packaging you've got Wheeljack in his very cool looking vehicle mode, robot mode, the backdrop, this side of the box, more of the artwork of Wheeljack, and that is it. So now, without further ado, let's get old Jackie Boy opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> I just wanted to point out real quick that all of these Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe figures all have the same backdrop. It's this Cybertronian battle scene with the bridge. So 80, 81, and 82 all have the same backdrop. The more you know. Now, once you get Wheeljack all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and fairly easy to follow. It did take me a couple tries to get him transformed. He also comes with this awesome-looking blaster. I love the looks of this. And then, of course, you've got Wheeljack himself. And to be honest, I am really impressed with the looks of this figure. I think Hasbro... Nailed it, especially since Wheeljack is only in the movie long enough to say, There's too many of them! The There's too many of them! <laughs> so, yeah, he's really, really cool looking and pretty beefy. This is kind of a jacked up Wheeljack. Love the face sculpt. Face sculpt is great with fantastic paint applications. You got the silver crest, silver mouth plate. You got the G1 mouth plate design, blue eyes. Blue ears. I don't know why they always call those ears, but whatever. They're blue, and it looks really, really good. Good paint applications here on the chest. Moving on down, lots of great sculpted details as well. I mean, check out the details there in the arms. Now, I love this figure, and he cleans up really good. There's not a lot of gaps or spaces. This is just a really good figure. Hasbro, you nailed it. Good paint applications down there on the legs. And I like how everything just folds up so clean. You don't see any wheels on Wheeljack. This is a really awesome figure. I've said that over and over again, and I just can't get over it. This guy really surprised me, taking him right out of the packaging. Now, articulation for Wheeljack. His head is on a ball joint, can look up, it can look down. You can do that look, a complete 360. He's got the G1 inspired wings, but instead of being on his back as usual, they're on the, his arms. So that's a little different, but I can deal with it and they can move up and down. Arms also up, down, complete 360. They're on a ball joint, as you can see. So there's a lot of movement. Don't pop that off. 
There is rotation there at the bicep, a bicep bend, no wrist rotation, waist rotation, legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out so far, and they can go in. There's also a knee bend, and of course the hip is on a ball joint, so there is some movement there. There's also a slight ankle tilt, and mine is really tight. I almost thought he didn't have an ankle tilt, but he does. So all in all, really great figure. Now, taking a look at his big blaster here, you can tell this wheel jack is more of a Transformers Prime wheel jack than the jovial scientist version from G1. So you can take the blaster, put it in his hand. Once again, a tight fit. So there you go. He looks really cool, all armed and ready for battle. Now you also have weapon storage on his back. <laughs> if I can get that out. There's another peg on the side of the blaster. So you can peg that in on his back right there. Let me find it. So you've got that look going on in case any third party company comes up with a tool set or something like non-F. So yeah, I love robot mode. So now let's go ahead and get Wheeljack transformed. We'll take the weapon off. Now Wheeljack's transformation is really cool and complicated. Like I said, it took me a couple tries to figure it out. First thing we're gonna do is fold those wings down along the back of his arms and then you're gonna flip this whole front section up and this little section on the inside out. Be wary that this is all translucent plastic. So then we're just gonna pull this down and extend it like so. Now you're gonna separate the shoulders, take Wheeljack's head assembly and move this whole section back and straighten that out. Once again, really, really tight. Now, remember how to do this. You're gonna take the arms, kind of bring these, bring the arms up and you're gonna rotate these this way. It, almost seems like it makes more sense to go the other way, but you're going to kind of rotate these around so the arms are on the inside like so, and go ahead and angle these so the arms look like that. So get all this out of the way, rotate at the waist, and now comes the legs. I These, these legs are something else. Go ahead and get the wheels unpegged from these panels right here. And what you're going to do is, if I remember, these are, there you go, doing it the wrong way. These panels here rotate around like so. So go ahead and get these rotated out of the way slightly. Now you're going to take the shins, pull the shins up. Once again, really, it's really tight. I love how tight the joints are on this figure. So now you got the shins pulled up, rotate those up like so. So you got that look going on. Go ahead and bring the wheels up and around. Move the toes forward, pop it right off of the ball joint. And that's because I was rotating the wrong way. You bring the toes up. So you've got that look going on on the other side. Now, We'll bring everything together, slide the panels down. I knew it. Always when it's on camera. So get your panels lined up. There we go. See if his other side works a little better. Get everything lined up, tabbed in. There we go. So now you're going to bring the feet together. So you have this going on. Take the front, bring this down, flip the Autobot symbol section up to fill in that little gap right there. Take the head, turn Wheeljack's head to the side, and this just kind of lays up in there like so. And now with the arms, you're going to bring the arms up and just kind of fold them up and under the roof of the vehicle. Get 
Get those tabbed together there. Make sure everything tabs in. And there you have Wheeljack in his vehicle mode. And I absolutely love this vehicle. This thing is awesome. It's sleek, stylized. I love the angles on it. Great paint applications. The translucent windshield actually looks really good. See, I didn't get that snap down all the way. There we go. Yeah, make sure he's all tabbed in. But this thing just looks awesome and a nice homage to the original Wheeljack vehicle. This thing is so cool and rolls so good. I love it. This thing is just awesome. And what I really like, you can't tell it's a robot. There's no robot bits hanging off anywhere. So that, that's impressive. Now, you can take Wheeljack's blaster and attach it to the vehicle, but it only goes on one way. See these little ports right here with the weird angle? There is a matching peg on the gun, and it goes on this one right here. So you peg that in. So now you have Wheeljack in vehicle mode, in battle mode. And that just, that looks so good. I love this vehicle. Hasbro, you knocked it out of the park with this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformer Studio Series 81 Wheeljack with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, my busted up Generation 1 Wheeljack, Earthrise Wheeljack with Toy Hacks and Non-F Production add-ons, and Wavemate Studio Series 82 Ratchet. Once again, I am really impressed with these new Studio Series Deluxe Class offerings from the Bumblebee movie. Wheeljack looks great. He has a fun and interesting transformation, and I absolutely love his vehicle mode. Not to mention, he's a great homage to the original Generation 1 character. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series 81 Bumblebee movie Wheeljack. So... Does a Transformers Studio Series 81 Bumblebee movie Wheeljack belong in your collection? Absolutely. As if you couldn't tell, I love this figure. So whether you're a Studio Series movie collector or not, I think this figure right here belongs in your collection because he is just awesome. He is so much fun to mess with. Great robot mode, wild transformation, and a super cool car mode. I I love this guy. He is just awesome. So yeah, you see Studio Series 81 Wheeljack on the shelf. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours, that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!